Well, homework time again. Do you want your homework for this week? Yeah, give me my homework. What you got to do? This is what you've got to do. So for this week's numbers game homework, your tasks, your actions related to the lessons. Uh, sorry, not related to the lessons, related to the experiment that we're starting up this time around. Uh, so go back to the experiment section to check out that lot. But this is what you're going to do based on it. Get your Google Analytics out. We're going to start delving into Google Analytics a bit more. Um, and I want you to start delving into how you can use those engagement metrics we talked about to improve your site. So those engagement metrics we're looking at during our current experiment around pop-ups versus no pop-ups are bounce rate, pages per session, time per session. And you can look at those uh, that page depth as well, which is a really interesting one. So have a look at them, compare them to our stats. Again, I'll just repeat that. If you're watching the video, you won't have heard them so far. Our stats are 1.44 pages per session, 1 minute 41 time per session, and our bounce rate is 75. And again, I explained that, you know, one of our aims is affiliate income, and therefore one of our aims is to get people off our site. So our stats are actually on the low end of the site of uh, things, but still you can have them as a, a benchmark. So your task for this week is to... Do one thing to improve those metrics. So one thing that you can think of to make somebody just stay on your site a little bit longer, to view one more page, to to just not leave, something that will entice them into doing something else on your website after they see that first thing. So they land on a page, they land on something they found through search or they've just come to visit you for, you know, they know your URL, they know your brand. What are you going to give them so that they're doing more than just one or two things and stay on your site as long as you can? All of that obviously builds engagement with those people. They're more likely to read more stuff, more page views, um, and that can achieve all sorts of aims from getting them onto your email opt-in list or uh, maybe it's buying a product. So, for example, one thing you can do, find your most popular article on the website. Find the article on your website that gets the most traffic and do one thing to improve that and what you could do for example uh, is put a few links in there deliberately put a few links in there into that article that the link to other pages other places on your website so um for example, we write about all sorts of equipment. So we write about mixers. We've got a best mixers roundup. So we could put in there, um, oh, well, if we're one of the aspects of mixers is what kind of microphones it can take. So if we can take XLR, then we can say, oh, we'll go and have a look at our XLR cables article. Uh, or if it can take, uh, it can give phantom power to a condenser mic, we can go, oh, well, you can find out what a condenser mic is. Click this link. So make sure you're putting some links in there that try and draw people through to other articles. And I'm not talking about just a, you know, a related articles link at the bottom or a next article, previous article. Something that's really related that's going to give them extra value based on what they've found. So they've been searching for best mixers. Give them something that leads on to that and gives them more value. I would say put in three links at least and at least one in the last paragraph. So when they've finished the article, they've got a really clear next step to take. So go away and try that this week. To find that most popular article, just in case you don't know, pop into your Google Analytics, click the behavior section, then site content, and then all pages. And that'll give you a list of the most popular pages on your website. For extra credit, take the first top three pages uh, and uh, and add links to all of them. It doesn't take too long to just figure out a few wee bit of cross-linking. We've been doing this a fair bit with um, our content refresh project, haven't we? Going back to all of our old articles and just sort of um, trying to interlink them a bit more. Yeah, yeah, just keeping, uh, keeping it relevant for people yeah. as they um, go through and read them. Yeah, totally. Because, I mean, you, you've got loads of old articles that might, be really relevant to link through to newer articles that weren't written at the time, eh? So there's lots of things you can do to add lots of engagement, try and keep people on your site for longer. So that's your task for this week. Try and increase your engagement metrics and at least set a baseline by going and having a look at them right now.